Hello friends, today we are going to study um, a topic in our machine design course that is on Soderbergh, Goodman and uh, Gerber diagram. Okay, first of all we should know few things before starting this. Um, there are, when you study fatigue loading, These are some prerequisites that you should know. It is of uh, two types mainly. One that is for completely reversed stress. And this one is fluctuating stress. This, so we have to design for fatigue loading. We have to design for fatigue loading. Okay, so it can be either design using this if it is a case of completely reverse stress or it's a uh, case of uh, fluctuating stress. Okay, now for completely reverse stress, it also can be divided into two parts that is for free life. and for infinite life okay we will see this case uh, completely reverse stress in, uh, in another video and in the same way uh, this also can be designed for finite life and infinite life okay So, it's a mainly design of machine components subjected, uh, subjected to fluctuating stress. That is, uh, for we will see for infinite life. This thing we are going to see because these are uh, Soderbergh, Goodman, and Gerber. This comes in this topic, means fatigue loading under fluctuating stress, and we will study this thing finite life so a uh, finite life uh, if uh, uh, finite life if sigma m equal to 0 okay um, but uh, uh, what uh, we are going to st actually study um, is infinite life sorry that I have said um, we are going to study finite life no we, since Soderbergh Goodman and Gerber diagram comes into the category of infinite life in fluctuating stress. Okay, so uh, for, um, finite life where sigma m is equal to zero, but for infinite life, sigma m is not equal to zero. And now, what is sigma m and sigma a? We should know it is mean stress. And this one, sigma a, it can be also called as sigma v. It is called stress amplitude. Okay, or it can be also called as variable stress. Okay, sigma m is given by your sigma max plus sigma mean by 2 and sigma a is given by sigma max minus sigma mean by 2 are you getting my point okay this sigma max and sigma mean are the can be derived from the f max and f mean with the desired uh, cross section uh, force divided by the cross section which will give you the sigma max f max by the area it will give you sigma max and f max sorry f mean by area it will give you sigma mean and the, from that too you, will, you can find sigma m and sigma a which are mean stress and uh, stress amplitude okay we will uh, see one thing now what is se or sigma a 
it is nothing but endurance strength it is the limit up to which a body can sustain a fluctuating stress without gone for failure okay so we will be coming to Sorava Goodman and Gaba one by one let me take a new page okay suppose hmm, let me draw a two axis okay this axis is for sigma a and that is in the y axis in the x axis it is sigma m okay. that is mean stress and let's mark a point s e that is you can say you can say uh, this is the uh, endurance point okay so suppose let me draw two lines and a curve okay. so let me point this and I will explain one by one SYT is one and this point is SUT SYT is what stress intention okay SUT is stress so uh, yeah at uh, stress in ultimate point okay so and as e as you know is the endurance stress okay so let me take a new color to mark the things. Let me take in the red. Okay. This is our Gerber parabola. This one is Goodman line. And this one is our solar work line okay solar work line Gerber parabola Goodman line and solar work line so uh, as you can see if we consider this line the solar work line we can compare with the equation of a straight line with the intercept that is x by a is equal to y by b is equal to 1 where in the x axis it cuts at a certain uh, length or certain uh, uh, intercept at A and uh, in the y axis intercept at B. Okay, in this way, if you can see, you, we can see that sigma m is in the x axis, right? And sigma and sigma a, sigma a is in the y axis. Okay? Sigma A. Okay. And so sigma A at the y axis it cuts at S E. Isn't it? And in the x axis it comes at it intersects at S Y D. If we can write this equation in the in the same form as the uh, equation of straight line with intercepts in x axis and y axis, we can actually form the equation for this straight line, which is a uh, straight line for the which is actually the equation of um, uh, Soderbergh line. So, this is the Soderbergh line equation, okay? Soderbergh line equation. So if we multi uh, divide it by factor of safety this will be the case of Soderberg line in a safety point means if safe stress is considered suppose this is your Soderberg line this line is your Soderberg line and we consider another line which can be called as a safe stress line 
something inside this graph okay so something outside this is unsafe if we consider the solder again line okay and something inside this is a safer safer portion okay in terms of design so if we consider a safe stress line to realize this point we can uh, actually uh, uh, we can actually come up with using the factor of safety I have written in, in short form factor of safety okay so if you multiply by this we will get a equation for a line in the safe region of solar bar, uh, graph okay in the same way as you can see uh, this line if we try to write equation for this line it will be also same see sigma m in the x and sigma a in the y equal to 1 it cuts sigma m at s u t and it cuts at s y t isn't it is equal to 1 so this equation is our good man equation okay this one this one is good man and this one is Soderberg. okay so in the same way we can divide it by factor of safety if you consider this line and something inside here for Goodman is the safe region and sometimes something here something here is not safe so in the same way if we consider a line in this way and consider safe stress in case of Goodman like we did in uh, Soderberg we can also come up with this factor of safety so this two equation actually give us the equation for uh, this two line that is for Soderberg line and Goodman line so this is the case where sigma m and sigma a is not equal to 0 when this comes we can actually go for Goodman and Soderberg please try to keep that in mind okay so the, the, the last that is left out is our uh, uh, Gerber line see Gerber parabola or uh, not Gerber line Gerber parabola let me take a new page okay. it's quite like that right C and SCT this one was our Gerber line Gerber sorry Gerber parabola because the equation that it will follow will be a parabolic and you can ask why this is parabolic in nature because it takes a path through the points which are obtained from experimental results or a test you can say hence it predicts more um, hence this uh, curve uh, pred predicts more accurately accurately at failure means when the failure will come it will give accurate result but the problem with this curve is it is it should not be used until you know uh, the um, strength or the loading conditions very precisely if you don't know the loading condition the strength of the material very precisely it is not uh, suggested that you should use this Gerber parabola so uh, in most cases uh, when this type of things come in the design that is design of components okay design of components subjected to fluctuating stress we always go for uh, this curve that is soda line because it is more conservative and convenient to use and gives certain results when the material has some yielding and if the material has a very less yielding we will go for this lump because uh, it will not show a certain a specific or certain amount of yielding so we will directly consider SUT because as you know from the stress strain curve the ductile material has SYT and uh, SUT but in case of uh, uh, brittle material it shows very very less amount of uh, yielding so we directly go for SUT in case of brittle material so solar work is mainly for the material which shows a uh, certain yielding okay so let's come back to our Gerber parabola okay as we have seen 
it, uh, since it's a parabola so it will have a parabolic equation like <coughs> it is sigma m sigma a as usual x axis and y axis 1 okay what will we do is that we will uh, write um, in second in the y axis it will be uh, um, se isn't at sigma a and it will be s uh, sorry s ut because both the good men and uh, the car intercept at s ut now we have to multiply the factor of safety and you have to square the x axis term that is sigma a sigma m because it's a kind of an equation where it is y equal to k x square or x equal to y no uh, sorry x equal to k y square these are the equation of parabola in this equation you can see the either of the x or the y term is only one one term is in the quadratic form so in this case since the shape of the parabola is in this where uh, uh, we will take this uh, form that is uh, y equal to <coughs> k equal to k into x square okay okay so um, this is all about our equations uh, let me recap what we have studied first one is our solar work that is sigma m by s y t plus sigma a by um, s c uh, equal to 1 next our good man sigma m by s u t please remember this point because you have to see the intersection sigma a by s equal to 1 to make it safer it is 1 by force and 1 by force means factor of safety and the third one is about this equation force into sigma m by s u t whole square and the force into uh, sigma a by s e okay sigma m is nothing but our s m it can be represented in this way sigma a it can be represented in this way s means stress and this sigma is also means it also means sigma means stress okay and s a can be written as sigma e don't make a confusion on it i hope i have made this equation quite clear so the the most equation that we use is a conservative Soderberg line it is generally used because whenever the material shows certain kind of yielding we go for the uh, Soderberg equation and as you have, as i have told you otherwise we will go for um, goodman equation when there is no such yielding is there and also discuss about the curved parabola where if you don't know the exact loading conditions and all it is not uh, suggested to use this equation that is Gerber parabola okay so thank you we'll meet in the next video